Hi, y'all. For tonight's supper, we're going to make <laughs> meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf gets a bad rep, but we love it in this house because of the way I make it. I got this recipe from my aunt. I absolutely love this meatloaf. So we wanted to share it with y'all, and we hope you give it a try because it's super easy and it is quite delicious. Okay, we got our meatloaf, or our um, sorry, ground beef in the pan. We're going to open this. Stove top stuffing. I know. Anna. You're probably shaking your head, Anna. <laughs> I want to learn to make it from scratch. Wouldn't that be great? Um, do a couple eggs here. And if you know of a recipe for stove top stuffing, homemade stove top stuffing, yeah. Leave it down in the comments. Yep. And then a little bit of milk here. We're just going to get our hands in here, y'all. Get it mixed up. Okay, gonna mold this into a loaf here. Okay, I like to add a little water to the bottom just to keep it nice and moist. The milk helps with that too. Let's, um, I'll show you how to make the glaze that goes on top and oh my goodness, is it a game changer. Okay, we're gonna do some brown sugar. And I'd say about a cup. And then, y'all, I don't usually measure. I just dump and pour. So. We're gonna do about a half a cup of ketchup in this. And I'm only measuring because y'all are y'all are watching. <laughs> and we're gonna do about a quarter cup, which is about half of this half cup, right? Of Mustard. Okay. And you just mix that all up. There you have it. Okay. Okay. Here's your meatloaf. And make sure he's done in the middle. He's nice and toasty in there. That was about 30 to 35 minutes. Then you're just gonna pour your glaze over your meatloaf. Him right back in the oven just until that glaze gets nice and golden brown. Okay, and there you go. 
glaze kind of ran off a little bit. Normally it stays on top, but there you have it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any of these fun videos.